I mean, yeah, where are we gonna just sit there though? What? What are we doing at the hotel? Okay, I just want to do a little bit of an update. So last night we drove until 3 a.m., 3.30. We ended up in a very dangerous area and me and Andrew were sleeping in the van. We went to sleep at 4.20. We got woken up. We were sleeping in a rest stop. Got woken up by a lady banging on our, on our window, a patrol lady, at 5 a.m. Had to move to a different spot in the parking lot. And we got to sleep until 6.30. Then at 6.30, we had to drive again. Andrew drove. I was still half asleep, honestly. Andrew drove us to a park where he had to sit in the front seat and stay awake because it was so dangerous. And he was witnessing some pretty bad activities at 7 o'clock in the morning. People were doing bad stuff. So that tells you something about the area. And he did not get to go back to sleep ever. I slept until about 8 o'clock. So me and Andrew did not sleep at all that whole night. It was very rough. And honestly, I'm he just handled it really well, a lot better than me. I did not handle it well at all. I was very, very, very grouchy and very mad. And I was just so upset and disappointed in this part of the trip. And I honestly was mad this entire day when we went to we went to visit this house in Birmingham. I really did not like Birmingham at all. Um, I was sad that we weren't going to Huntsville and I was just really sad. We missed a lot of the things I planned for the trip. So I was extremely disappointed, but I eventually got over it and I realized that there will be many more trips to come and that I don't need to be ruining this whole trip by the end of it going bad. So I did get over it and I am excited to go on another trip and see the things that I want to see. You know, it's always an excuse to go back. That's fine with me. So we ended up going to Birmingham, going to visit this old house there. Then we ate at just a uh, chicken salad chicken Birmingham. We just wanted to eat really quick and get back on the road. And then we ended up driving to um, Southern Georgia, staying the night in a hotel. It was a really nice hotel, eating at a restaurant. And then the next morning we woke up and things started to get better. I was completely over it. We went to Mariana, Florida. We went to these caves, the caverns, and toured them. It was the next day. I combined it the two days just for the sake of the video. It was I barely was recording when I was upset. And then we went um, thrifting a little bit, stopped at a Micanopy on the way home, and we got back home. So it was a seven-day road trip, and overall, I think it was a really good trip, and I did learn a lot. This was my first road trip on my own like this, and I definitely learned um, some things I want to do next time, and I'm really excited to go back to all these places. Okay, this is exactly what I was trying to do in my yard. And I really want to learn to do bricks by myself. It's crazy because when you're driving up to this house, it's not in the best area, but then it's so nice and it's on six acres. This is the thing that was just outside that's so cute. I want to get one of these, but they're kind of expensive. They're $5. I love that one. I think I think it's a mixture would be good. But I think this has like the most perfect um windows. 
this is the first room and I was gonna buy a rug that is 26 feet by 20 that was really pretty but it won't even fit in my living room so I guess I would need a living room this big this is the back door this is my exact style so everything I see I either have something just like it or have been looking for it Andrew this is my this I can't wait to have those things I've always wanted that I don't know what they're called rug runner holders and several changes had been done I think that that part of the room down there they opened up the wall yeah. Do you think they accidentally put that there on the remodels and the fixing? Would you do that? Or something, since it's about to storm, we're gonna be stuck in here. Wow. I think they changed it to a ramp because it was probably a stair. And they need to put something right here. This is another room. I like this one better. It's my favorite one. The rugs. See, where are the people? Get in the rugs. I only found one. Okay. More of the wood I like. I think this is a cute doll house. Uh, that's nice. Could make your bread wow. look. Yeah. I need that. And underneath like a sweep area. Yeah, it's not locked like the other side. What I said was that there could be the most beautiful, nice pool right here. He doesn't want a pool though, so he said no, nice, beautiful lawn. But we'll have a pool. There's really beautiful trees here. I'm under one right now because it's raining, but this is a very pretty house. I want to change some stuff about it. I want to, if I lived here, I want to paint it a completely different color, much lighter, maybe yellow, and then definitely take the black shutters away. And then I'll leave the brick original, maybe a red tin roof. I love the house. I love the design. I love the layout, the decor the style. I love brick walkways. I just think it's a little dark. Look at these pretty trees. That pretty tree over there with all the flowers, it's like fully in bloom. Okay, I'm crazy about flowers. Look at, it looks like snow. And then you can see it thrives in the sun. There's sun, look at how much this side is blooming. This side, not so much, it's more in the shade. That is so pretty, oh my gosh. I need to find a way to buy and build these for cheaper because I'm in the middle of 
gardening, learning about gardening and making my garden. And I want raised beds and they're expensive and they're not cute. Like these are beautiful. We're on the last day of the vlog and we are at the Florida Caverns in North Florida. And after this, we're gonna go to a thrift store in Madison and eat lunch. And then we're gonna go to these caves that we're not supposed to go to. Tides drift down to the ground, it'll form a stalagmite like these ones down here. And with both a stalagmite and stalactite joined together, they form to make a column like this one right over here. And then right behind over here, we have these flaps. These are known as cave draperies. These go by many different names like curtains, bat wings, elephant ears, and my favorite name for these flaps, cave bacon. <laughs>